term allergic is uh, is used widely and loosely and sometimes they're not really allergic a lot of times uh, it's just a, a, a localized response but there are there can be more serious reactions to uh, to bug bites or, or other allergens um, the way you would look for a severe reaction a more severe reaction uh, would be symptoms that are more systemic that involve other areas of your body. For instance, you get stung by a wasp. Wasps and bees, uh, in particular, can um, elicit a, an allergic reaction in some people, and it can be very serious. Um, that, the signs of that are not just a local reaction, but often people will describe difficulty breathing, uh, a sensation that their throat is closing, that sort of thing, and that's a whole different category of reaction to a sting or bite, and that's much more serious. Uh, that would be something you would treat as a medical emergency. And if you have that happen, it's probably a very good idea to see your doctor uh, and be prescribed an, an EpiPen. Now, if you have symptoms of shortness of breath or a difficulty breathing, throat clearing, it, obviously you would call 911 at that point and they may administer a medicine called epinephrine that can reverse those symptoms. They may also give um, an antihistamine such as Benadryl um, to um, help to reverse the symptoms. That's called anaphylaxis when you start to develop systemic widespread uh, symptoms that are affecting other areas of your body and uh, that again is a medical emergency. And if, um, if you are diagnosed with uh, an allergy, let's say, to to bees, to bee stings, and uh, you're prescribed an EpiPen, it's also probably a good idea to have an allergist on board to help in management. Um, and that would be something where you would also take more strict precautions of avoiding, strictly avoiding uh, the possibility of getting stung. And you would probably also carry an EpiPen with you uh, if you were prone to have an anaphylactic reaction, for instance, to bee stings.